Hey guys, it's Victor Costa. How you doing? How are you? Uh, peace, love, and muscles. That's what I wish for you now and always. Thank you so much for tuning into the Vix Natural channel. Um, as you know, this channel is about natural fitness and natural bodybuilding. Uh, and um, I often talk about uh, fitness from that perspective, and I also do exercises. And today I'm going to answer a couple of questions. Um, one of the questions that I received today was, Vic, how important is diet in the process of getting bigger uh, and more cut? And it's really an interesting question because there are people that I know um, who look at bodybuilding or define bodybuilding in a very different way than most people think of bodybuilding. Most of us think of guys uh, on, a, uh, on a stage posing um, or we think of a contest or we think of um, uh, posing trunks and we think of oiled up bodies and we think of bodybuilding in that sense. But there are others of us who think of bodybuilding in a very different way. My definition of bodybuilding is uh, sort of a lifestyle. It's not just the end game of what you ultimately look like. It's a continuous process of building the body. So when I'm sleeping and paying attention to my sleep, I'm bodybuilding. When I'm drinking enough water, I'm bodybuilding. When I'm hanging around good people and I'm experiencing good energy, I'm bodybuilding. When I'm not smoking, I'm not drinking, I'm not doing drugs, I'm bodybuilding. When I'm eating nutritious food uh, with a good variety of different foods, paying attention to my body's needs and continuing uh, the, the dialogue that I have with my body when it continuously gives me feedback about what I need and adhering to that and paying attention to my body, that's bodybuilding. When I go to the gym and I train, that's also bodybuilding. So there's a very different way to define bodybuilding. I think of every time I'm doing something good for my body, I'm bodybuilding. When I see someone walking down the street with an apple, I think they are bodybuilding. So when you talk about bodybuilding and you talk about nutrition, the, the two things are not separate. You're always um, eating to build your body and to keep your body strong. We're born, most of us, who are fortunate with really perfect mechanisms, perfect bodies, right? And it's up to us to sort of be the custodian of that body for the rest of our lives. And I don't necessarily mean it has to, ha you have to have chiseled abs and peaked biceps and all that. You're in charge of this, right? You have to be um, the, the custodian of this. You know, it's a, it's a divine thing. It's a beautiful thing to be alive and to be here. And this is the vehicle that you have, that you have to carry with you through your life. That's supposed to provide um, uh, uh, utility for you so that you can move, so that you can hug your family, so that you can create and write and see and all that. So when I think of bodybuilding, I think of anything that is going to enhance that me as a whole. And you know, it's some interesting, I speak to some guys who don't even really lift weights and they consider themselves bodybuilders because they're doing always something that they feel is good for themselves. Um, I think whenever you're nourishing the entire unit, uh, and that includes also your mind, right? All of that, um, uh, education, new experiences, opening your mind, reading, uh, being exposed to culture, all of this enhances all of you. And there is no separation um, between um, the bodybuilding that we think of, the posing, and just our general everyday living. So I would love for you to think about bodybuilding in that way. That's the way I think of it. Um, and so there's no separating how important is nutrition in bodybuilding. It's, it's vital to your body unit and taking care of you and nourishing you along your path, whether you work out or not, whether you're, um, whether you uh, are, are training for a specific purpose or you're taking a hiatus from training. You know, it's interesting. I speak to a lot of people who tell me that, you know, they had an injury and then I see them and they sort of, you know, got heavier or they let themselves go a little bit in terms of the rest of their health. And when something like that happens to someone, an unfortunate thing like that happens to someone, it, instead of letting it all fall apart, enhance or, or bring up the other aspects of of taking care of yourself. In other words, so maybe you can't train right now, 
but that doesn't mean you have to throw everything into the garbage pail, right? Maybe that's when you spend a little bit more uh, time and attention um, to your diet. That's when you spend a little bit more time resting or a little bit more time reading um, in, instead of letting everything sort of uh, fall apart, right? You can pick up the slack with other elements of your um, of taking care of yourself. So we don't only eat and and get nourished so that we can bodybuild. We eat uh, and get nourished just to live. And bodybuilding happens to be a beautiful, fun, exciting, and um, great recreational activity. Okay. So I hope you like this video. I wish you guys all the best. Peace, love, and muscle. Someone also asked for a bicep flex. There we go. All right. Take care of yourselves.